work with penguins at a zoo. And if I've learned one thing about those super cute but super smelly birds, is that they are phenomenal projectile poopers. <laughs> and when I say projectile, I mean it shoots far, and it lands on everyone and everything. So if you're wondering if I've ever been the target of projectile penguin poop, the answer is yes, <laughs> I have. And as it turns out, that was not the last time I would be in the path of an animal's poop. You see, nowadays, I study dolphin poop, except it doesn't accidentally land on me. I swim through it to collect it. But why do I study dolphin poop? What can it tell us? Turns out, quite a bit. You see, your poop contains cells that have been shed by your intestines, and those cells contain DNA. The same is true for dolphins. This non-invasively collected DNA can then be used to tell us things like the paternity of each individual. So with the help of the Wild Dolphin Project, I am studying the genetics of Atlantic spotted dolphins. The Wild Dolphin Project has been studying spotted in the Bahamas for nearly four decades. But in 2013, on one of their trips to Little Bahama Bank, they couldn't find them. After a month of searching and over 160 kilometers south, they finally found the dolphins on Great Bahama Bank, where they also found a second population of spotteds. This exodus presents a unique opportunity to learn how two populations interact after being thrown together because of an ecosystem crash. And that's where I come in. By extracting, isolating, and amplifying the DNA from fecal samples, I am examining the short, repetitive DNA sequences called microsatellites. These microsatellites are then used to look at paternity, so we know which males are successful in siring offspring. This is important because dolphins are very promiscuous creatures. They will mate with whomever they want, whenever they want. Because the two populations are now sharing the same habitat, there is an increased opportunity for mating, which means increased gene flow and genetic diversity. Recently, the Wild Dolphin Project discovered that the two previously aggressive and hostile populations are now socially merging. And because they have observed courtship among individuals from both groups, it is expected that my results will demonstrate a genetic mixing that is driven by the males who are encouraging these social interactions. This is important because as climate change continues to drive populations to migrate, social interactions will increase. And if they're genetically mixing, they're more likely to survive. So even though no one likes to talk about poop, it can tell us a lot about dolphins. Thank you.